looking good tonight. All right, now, welcome to Winning Lines. This is where one of those 49 lucky people is going to face the Wonder Wall and a chance to win one million dollars. <laughs> First of all, let's start with meeting our players. Hello, players. How are you? All right? I can't honestly say hello to all of you, so let me pick a few people out. At number 37, Patricia Ortiz from Brooklyn, New York. Patricia, that's you right there. Welcome. It's nice to have you here. At number 15 is Paula Russell. Uh, where'd you come from? Chicago, Illinois. Number 31 is Kimo. Kimo, I want you to say your last name so I don't butcher it. Kimo Meheula. 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 Very, very happy to have you here. Now, are you folks ready to play the game? Yeah. All right, let's get started. We're going to narrow the seals. 49 players down to one. First of all, we're going to narrow it down to six, and here's how we're going to do it. The show is all about numbers. We're going to show them all a question. If they know the answer, or they think they do, they will type that number on a keypad in front of them and hit the enter key. And the first person to get the question right will continue on to round two. In a minute, I'll tell you at home how with a little bit of luck and the right home or personal cell phone number, one of you will win $50,000. Let's play Winning Lines. Here we go. If, if Jenny Craig paid Monica Lewinsky one dollar for every pound she lost, how much would she earn for losing a full ton? If Monica lost a full ton and got a dollar for every pound, that's the answer we're looking for, all right? One ton equals 2,000 pounds, so the answer is 2,000. And somebody nailed it right on the head. Who got it first? All right, it's uh, Richard Mason. Uh, Richard, where are you from, sir? You're from Scotland. I'm from Edinburgh, Scotland. We're very happy to have you here, sir. You were the first of our players, and congratulations. Oh, by the way, there's one other little note here. Let me explain one thing for you at home. The first winning number was 20. All we're going to do is take the second digit of that number and place it on tonight's winning line at the bottom of your television screen. These numbers are very important for you because uh, if you're at home and you've got all these six numbers of the winning line in this round, plus the correct number on the Wonder Wall, and they combine in any order to form your home or personal telephone number, you call us, all right? Each week, somebody's going to win $50,000. All right, let's get on to our second question here. If your secret admirer's card arrives exactly two weeks after Valentine's Day, what day did you receive it? Card came two weeks after Valentine's Day. What day did you receive it? Valentine's Day is February 14th. Two weeks later, 14 days, would be February 28th. The answer is 28. Who got it first? Congratulations, Ernest Troy. Is it Ernest? You, sir, are the second of our six players. So the next number in tonight's winning line for you at home is three. Sure you remember the toe game when you were a kid. This little piggy went to market. Tell me what number toe piggy had none is. This little piggy went to market and so forth. Which one had none? One went to market. Number two stayed home. Number three had roast beef. And number four had none. So the answer is number four. Who got it first? Wendy Lashbrook from Gainesville, California. Wendy's number 24, so the next number on tonight's winning line for you at home is four. Speaking of four, this is question number four. Here we go. Julia Roberts has dated Dylan McDermott, Kiefer Sutherland, Liam Neeson, and Lyle Lovett. To how many of these men has she actually been engaged? Kiefer, Liam, Lyle, Dylan, how many she engaged to? Julia was engaged and not married to Dylan McDermott and Kiefer Sutherland. She was engaged and married to Lyle Lovett. She lived with Liam Neeson, so the answer is three. Which one of you got it first? It was number 48, Carla Jackson from Redondo Beach. Carla's number is 48, so the next number on tonight's winning line for you at home is eight. And question number five. What is the sum of all the numbers in the names of Star Wars droids, R2-D2 and C-3PO? R2-D2 and C-3PO, the sum of the numbers. Two twos in R2-D2, obviously, and three in C-3PO. That makes the answer seven. Who got the answer first? Dan Harris from Urbana, Illinois. Dan's number, by the way, is 16. So the next number on tonight's winning line for you at home is six. Last time. If all of the first ladies from the 80s and 90s each donated 11 of their favorite dresses to the Smithsonian, how many more outfits would the museum have? All the first ladies, 80s and 90s, 11 dresses to give it to the museum. 
how many would it be? Four first ladies in the 80s and 90s, Rosalind Carter, Nancy Reagan, Barbara Bush, Hillary Clinton, so the answer is 44. Who got it? Uh, right there, Mike McKay of El Paso, Texas. Uh, your number's 39, so the next number on tonight's winning line for you at home is nine. Thank you all very much. Congratulations to the six of you. Thanks to all of you. Now, well, that's it. We've got our six players. And six of the seven numbers on tonight's winning line for you at home are 0, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9. And we'll be back to watch our six players go head-to-head -head in a cutthroat round of sudden death right after these messages. Don't go away. The seventh number in the $50,000 CBS Winning Lines home game is coming up. Hey, welcome back to Winning Lines. Now, we started with 49 players, and as you can see, we are now down to six. Now, for you at home, if all six numbers on tonight's winning line at the bottom of your screen are in your phone number in any order, you are one number away from a chance at $50,000. Now, if they're not in your phone number, maybe they're in somebody you know, a relative, somebody down the street, give them a call and stay tuned for the seventh and final number. We're going to give you that a little bit later on in the show. Now, in the meantime, let's meet the lucky six players who made it to round number two. In the first spot, we have Ernest Choi. Ernest, you worked as a firefighter? Uh, yes, I did with the California Department of Forestry. Welcome aboard, sir. Next to you is Dan Harris. Dan, uh, what is a petroleum engineer? Well, we learn how we try to produce oil out of the ground economically and just bring the most oil out and the most money for the company. Sounds like it makes sense to me. Welcome, sir. Next to you is Richard Mason. Richard, what's Canical. this about a fish you're building? I'm building a robot fish. May uh, I ask the, why? <laughs> well, the, the idea is it would be uh, better than a more traditional kind of robot submarine. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Good luck to you, sir. Next to you is Wendy Lashbrook. Wendy, you started figure skating just recently? Yes, I did. About four years ago. Can you do it backwards, huh? Yes, I can. All right, here we go. Next to you is Mike McKay. Mike, uh, what kind of stuff are you into? I'm a webmaster. And that means? It means I design our website and incorporate all kinds of JavaScript. Next to you is Carla Jackson. Carla, uh, what do you do? Uh, I love to snow ski, but I can't right now because I'm expecting my second daughter. Good luck to all of you. Thank it's you. nice to have you. This is kind of an interesting conglomeration of people here. Unfortunately, folks, uh, I'm going to have to lose five of you. Here's how we play the round we call Sudden Death. All right, now I'm going to ask a series of questions, the answers to which can only be one of your six numbers. Your numbers are 13, 16, 20, 24, 39, and 48. If you think you know the answer, buzz in. If you're right and the answer is your number, then you're safe. If the answer is somebody else's number, they are out. Now, if you're wrong, no matter whose number the answer is, you are out. It is that cutthroat. And we're just we're going to keep going until we have just one player left. It's tough. All right, here we go. Question number one. In the normal human body, how many ribs are there? All right, buzzing in is Carla Jackson. How many ribs are there? 24. 24 is your answer? If it is indeed 24, Wendy Lashbrook, you'll be out of the game. 24 ribs. Sorry, Wendy, you're out. On we go. Next question. How many stars were on the American flag? The flashing of Zimmer, Troy Ernest. 13. 13, all right. How many stars were on the American flag in 1958? Now, Alaska and Hawaii were admitted as the 49th and 50th states, so the answer is 48, and you're out, sir. Next question. If Dolly Parton really did work non-stop from nine to five, Richard, what do you think is the answer? Quickly. We're going to try for 16. You're going to try for 16. If it's 16, you've knocked Dan Harris out of the game. If Dolly Parton really did work non-stop from nine to five, how many hours of each day would she have left to go shopping online? The answer is 16. Uh, sorry about that, sir. Next question. Billie Jean King holds the world record for the greatest number of wins in the women's title at Wimbledon. How many times has she won? Mike McKay buzzed in with the answer, and it is? 20. If that's the right answer, Richard Mason, you'll be knocked out of the game. The answer? 
He's 20. Sorry, sir. Now, look what we have. The Mike McKay and Carla Jackson. And my little heart is going pity pat. I don't know about yours. You're the guys who are going to play for a million dollars. Lot rides on this question. This is the last time you can get in. Be fast, be right. Remember, the answer will either be 39 or 48. How many total minutes are there on the clock in a regulation NBA basketball game? Mike, answer. 48. Total number of minutes there on the clock in a regulation NBA basketball game is 48. Carla, you're out. Mike, you're in. You're going to the Wonder Wall and hopefully win yourself a million dollars. For the rest of you, all have a thousand dollars. They won't go home empty-handed. Thank you so very much. Are you ready, sir, for the Wonder Wall? Yes. Get your thoughts together. We'll be back to see how you do right after this. Don't go away. The seventh number in the fifty thousand dollars CBS Money Lines home game is coming up. Welcome back. We have gone from 49 players to 6 to 1, and here's our winner, Mike McKay. Congratulations, sir. Now, Mike, we're going to give you $2,500 for getting this far, and uh, it's yours to keep no matter what happens. And in just a minute, you're going to be facing the Wonder Wall and a chance for $1 million. Now, hang in there for a second because you're not the only one who has a chance to win some money here. Viewers at home also have a chance at $50,000 in the CBS Winning Lines home game. If all six numbers on tonight's winning line at the bottom of your screen, plus the number of Mike's last correct answer in the Wonder Wall appear in your home or personal cell phone number in any order, you could win $50,000. Our winner two weeks ago was Pamela Estes of New Iberia, Louisiana, mother of two, who works in the church's daycare center and watches our show on KLFY TV Lafayette. Pamela won $50,000 in the CBS Winning Lines home game. Who's going to be rooting for you tonight? I have my wife and three kids at home, Audrey, Mikey, and Sam. Hi. If and, and if I win, this will hopefully pay for their college. Well, Mike, in just a minute, you're going to take your seat right over there and face the Wonder Wall for the most exciting three minutes in television. Lock <laughs> it. We're ready to go. And you'll see it all happen in just 60 seconds. Don't go away. All right. Stay tuned. The seventh and final number in the $50,000 CBS Winning Lines home game is coming up next. Welcome back to Winning Lines, where Mike McKay is about to try his luck at the Wonder Wall. With any luck, he will walk away tonight with one million dollars. Let us hope so. Now, Mike, you've watched a lot of people do this. Do you have any kind of strategy you're going to employ here? Yes. I want to answer all the questions right. <laughs> you already told me what you're going to do with the money, and that goes toward the kids' education now. In just a moment, we're going to reveal the Wonder Wall, and on it are answers to 49 questions numbered 1 to 49. Michael, when I ask you a question, you're going to have 15 seconds to give me the number and your answer before I can ask you the next question. Number and answer, please. For every correct answer, you'll get more money, and here's how the money grows. You get 20 questions right in three minutes, and you will walk out of here as America's newest millionaire. Now, here are the rules. If your answer is wrong, or you don't answer within 15 seconds, you get a strike. Three strikes, and you're out, of course. And in your hand there, you get that pit stop button. Uh, this allows you to take two 15-second pit stop breaks. Now, you can also pass on two questions. Now, this, Mike, is the single most important thing to remember. If you get two strikes, or there's 15 seconds left on the clock, whichever comes first, that big button over there is going to glow red like that. That's your bailout button. And from then on, you can bail out whenever you want and keep what you've won to that point. But you got to bail out before the clock runs out or you'll lose everything. And if you got it, then you run it by again. If the time runs out and you haven't bailed out and you, you've got three strikes, you will lose everything. All of that information will be on the screen. That'll be right there in front of you. You ready to play? Yes. Good luck, sir. Let's play Wonderwall. Reveal the answers. Mike, take a look at the whole board. Study it carefully. Try to remember where the answers and the numbers are. And always remember, I've got to have the number and then the answer. Otherwise, I can't go on and ask the next question. Study it carefully. Remember your pit stops and passes. I'll remind you about the strikes. All right. 
Here we go. What type of creature is Stuart Little? What is he? Stuart Little, what kind of creature? Stuart Little. And we got a couple of passes. Stuart Little is a what kind of a creature? Nine hamster. Wrong. Well, Fourteen is a mouse. Which former comedian and League of Their Own Star has her own talk show? Former comedian and League of Her Own Star has her own talk show. And at one strike. Twelve, Rosie O'Donnell. Correct. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Who painted the Mona Lisa? 230. Two passes. 32, left. Da Vinci. Correct. You are shipwrecked with TV's Ginger, Mary, and Ann, and the Skipper and the Professor. Where are you? Ginger, Mary, Ann, the Skipper. Seven, Gilligan, Gilligan's Island. Correct. Kale, okra, and artichoke are all types of what? Kale, okra, and artichokes are all types of what? You have two minutes and nine seconds. Two passes left. Two 47 minutes. vegetables. Correct. What is a French name for a two-door car? French name for a two-door car. You have one strike, minute and 58 seconds. Two-door car, French name. Minute and 52. Pass. Next, which singer stars in the TV show Moesha? 20, Brandy. Correct. Which contemporary African-American author wrote, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings? Five, Maya Angelou. Correct. In the animated movie, who is the baby Lion King? Who is the baby Lion King? 28, Simba. Correct. In what Chinese square were the student riots of... 46, Tiananmen. Correct. Which country is frequently referred to as the Emerald Isle? Emerald Isle, have a minute. 35, of... Ireland. Correct. What is the last name of the actor who starred opposite Claire Danes Juliet in the 1996 film Romeo and Juliet? 23, DiCaprio. Correct. What's offering once advertised itself as the real thing? Have a minute and ten, one strike. 15, Coke. Correct. Domingo and Pavarotti are two of the three tenors. Name the third. Who is the third tenor? Along with Domingo and Pavarotti. 44, a... Carreras. Correct. Many mammals glide. What's the only mammal that can truly fly? Flying 41, mammal. Bat. Correct. In what state is Three Mile Island? Where's Three Mile Island? You have 48 seconds. One strike. You're in a pit stop. Take 15 seconds now and study the board. In what state is Three Mile Island? Use all the time. Don't give me the answer yet. In what state is Three Mile Island? You got one strike, one pass left, one pit stop left. Here we go. Answer? One, Pennsylvania. Correct. During which war did the film Life is Beautiful take place? Which war did the film 18, life... World War II. Correct. What is the former name of the region made famous by the musical The King and I, now known as Thailand? You have 31 seconds and one strike. 38, Siam. Correct. What was Disney's first animated feature film? 25 seconds. Disney's first animated feature film. 39, Fantasia. Wrong. Three, Snow White. All right. Next, according to Bill Haley in the comments, what is it that we're going to rock around? 21, have... the clock. Correct. In the Arthurian legend, what is the name of King Arthur's advisor and mentor? You have eight seconds, two strikes, six, five. 49, Merlin. Correct. You bailed out. Congratulations. You've got $400,000. You know you had that pit stop, I know, but that's okay. You've got $400,000. Congratulations. Nicely done. We had... A lady bail out with a half a million dollars, and I said, my hands were, my hands are soaked this time. I swore you weren't hearing me about the time. Were you listening carefully? Yes, I was. You knew what you were doing? I'm losing my voice. You won $400,000. <laughs> Man alive, that's fabulous. Congratulations. Now, for you at home, in just a moment, I'll tell you the seventh and final number in tonight's winning line that's worth $50,000 to one of you. Do not go away. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mike McKay has just won $400,000. You mentioned your kids. How old are the kids? They're eight, seven, and four. And I have a feeling you might have forgotten to say hello to somebody. My wife, Louise, hello. Good move, my man. <laughs> oh, speaking of winning, were you at home? The seventh number in tonight's Lucky 